Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Brown, brownsport.com. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, just to let you know, this is a Friday, kind of gloomy out there, but that's okay. And the reason is because it's happy inside. So, again, attitude. And we've been talking about attitude, about problems, things like that. But there are six lists of problems that Napoleon Hill talked about. And those are the fear of poverty. Now, obviously, not having money is important. Uh, it is a factor that we all have to worry about sometimes. I say all, but you know, it, it can be a motivating factor. If it can be a debil the debilitating factor, you know how we view it. Again, it's the fear of poverty, the ability or the inability to have the money needed to make things happen. Uh, the other fear is fear of criticism. I think this is a really big one because it, it ties in with the fear of rejection, which. I mean, most people have that have that fear. We worry about what our neighbors think. We worry about what our family think. We worry about if somebody's going to criticize us, and we worry about that uh, stigma that goes along with: Did we make the right decision? Did we make the wrong decision? Will they like what I'm doing? And that sort of thing. And a lot of that criticism can just be once we hear a no, we take that as criticism. So that criticism is a big factor. I think that's a a very powerful fear, unfortunately. And I'll be I'll admit I've had that fear uh, in the past, and I, I still do. I just I'm trying and working through it. Uh, the fear of ill health. Now, with the way things are going, with the way the medical industry is going. And at the same time, the healthcare is getting better. But again, at the same time, you're noticing more and more uh, cancer issues. So everything, every you can't watch TV without seeing a commercial about some new drug that somebody's come up with on some new problem. And sometimes they're new, sometimes they're not. But so you you get that pushed into your head over and over and over again. It's it's regurgitated over on the news through commercials. You know, oh, are you healthy enough? Ooh, what problems will we be having? You know, one in five men will face this problem. Three in six women will, you know, run into this. So again, that's very important. That's that's a major fear that a lot of people have is the fear of health. And you know, that's something that as you watch your your parents grow, uh, get older. Uh, you deal with uh, more on a first-hand basis. And then sometimes, like my mother, she passed from cancer. So, again, that ill health fear is, is a major one. The fear of loss of loved one. Now, again, lost my mother. But what if I lose my brother? What if I lose my girlfriend? What if, I, what if my father passes? Those are things that, as fears go, you know, it's something we, we do have to worry about. Some people don't worry about the loss of their loved one. They have the confidence in themselves. Hey, I'm going to make it no matter what, and I'm going to be But they don't worry about it. Again, it's how we all deal with different things. All of these fears are dealt with on a different personal way. So sometimes the fear of loved one may not be what your fear is, but it's still something that we all think about. Uh, the fear of old age. Same thing, you know, we all get old if we don't pass from ill health and we don't uh, pass away from other extent of situations. So the old age factor will happen if we stay healthy. So we got to we got to make sure that we embrace the fact that we're going to get old. We embrace the fact that that's part of living is going on and moving to older age. And with those factors, you know, many things. And maybe we can mentor someone who is younger. We can go through and, and help other people with, using our experience. So the old age, for me, is not something I'm too scared of beyond the other fears. But sometimes you just got to combine all those fears. And maybe they can work uh, against each other, for each other. Depends on how you look at it. And, of course, the sixth list of fear that Napoleon Hill used was the fear of death. Now, some people don't fear death. That is, again, part of living. I'm alive. I know I'm going to die. That's, that's what we all have to deal with. We're all going to die, every one of us. I don't care what you say. I don't care what your belief system is. We're all going to die. So that fear is something that could in some way affect us all. Sometimes it's more, um, it's for the short term. I mean, so if you're in a, a, a an adrenaline rush and something bad's happening, you're afraid you're going to die right now. Or 
could you sit back and go, oh my goodness, I'm going to die eventually? Well, yeah, eventually we all are. So many different ways you can overcome these. And sometimes not these fears, not dwelling on them, not letting them get to you so much. So don't feed those fears. But at the same time, fears are stories that we tell ourselves. If my story is that death is going to happen and it's part of living, then I'm not too worried about it as much. If I look at old age as, hey, this is going to happen, we're all going to get old, I'm not fearful of it. However, again, criticism is one of my biggest fears, you know, which is a form of rejection. And so because of that, that's something I've got to get over. So my story I tell myself has to work, you know, to counter, counter that fear. So each of these six fears, the fear of poverty, the fear of criticism, the fear of, fear of ill health, the fear of the loss of a loved one, the fear of old age and the fear of death, all, we all have some form of this in some way, usually. The majority of us do. So... We have to counteract those fears by telling us, telling ourselves a story that works against those fears. So again, guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful day. This one's gone a little longer than usual, but have a wonderful day. I love you all. Uh, go ahead and subscribe up here. Uh, check the show notes uh, down below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Uh, subscribe and have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye-bye.